You can host your own runners and customize the environment used to run jobs in your GitHub action workflows. This is thanks to the fact that GitHub open sourced their runners on GitHub, of course. Self-hosted runners offer more control of hardware, operating systems, and software tools than the GitHub's hosted runners provide. Self-hosted runners can just be on any machine that you have close to you. So physical, virtual, in a container, on-prem, or even in the cloud. So to get started, I'm going to show you how to set up self-hosted runners in your repo today. So head over to the repo settings, and inside there, head over to the Actions tab. Scroll down to the bottom and hit Add Runner. There, you can see a list of commands you can copy and paste directly in your terminal. Now, this again, this could be in the cloud, or this could be on, on a local machine you have close by to you. For the sake of this demo, I'm going to be using a 2018 MacBook Pro because it's what I'm recording this video with. So here, I've copied and pasted all the commands. You can see the runner has now been activated. Now with the runner up and running, uh, I can now go add this to my GitHub Action Workflow. The, the one trick is that you need to point this directly to a self-hosted version. Uh, now the way this works, it actually points uh, to the repo. So the repo I set this up is the, the repo that this was actually run into. And there you go. You can now see my actions are now being triggered locally in my runner environment, as well as I got action logs in the browser to debug as well there. Now I'll stop the demo there. Uh, definitely leave this to your imagination and how you want to set up your runners and what sort of debugging environments you want to set up for yourself. But this is a nice way to debug your actions locally, as well as own the environment where your jobs run. If you want to learn more about self-hosted runners, check out this GitHub documentation.